So a very good uh, second half of the morning, ladies and gentlemen, colleagues, friends. You will see here a premiere of a collaboration which I think is unprecedented. A collaboration where world leading scientists in game theories like Karl Sigmund and uh, Piotr Magnuszewski will be on stage together with world leading dancers thinking about both arts and sustainability. Let me welcome them and let me uh, come back after what happens. And let me see if the emotion which I talk about will be everywhere. I'm sure they will be. That's my welcome to our Science and Arts Associate and the project around him. Welcome to In Dilemma. In the next 30 minutes, we are going to compress time and space and take the journey into the future. We start by creating a magic circle. In this magic circle, you will become someone else. You take the new role. Immerse deeply into this role. Be your role. First, we start with the group. On this side, in the back, you are all extremely poor. You can hardly survive. You are connected with our first dancer, and your life, spa your life space is extremely limited. The second group on the same side, in front, you are also very poor, but not so dramatically. You are connected with the second dancer. You have some more life space, some more options. However, if nothing changes, you have no future. The fourth group, you are super rich. <laughs> you are connected with our fourth dancer. You have two choices. You can either express that you need more life space, and you do this by standing up. This is how you say you need more, and when you satisfy, you sit down. Stay connected with your dancers, and the dancers may also try to influence you, but the decision is yours. happened here? Look around. Is it what you wanted? You all needed your life space. But when you take it from others, it leads to conflict. And the conflict reduces the space available for everyone. And also for nature. Can we do better? Shall we look for an inspiration into game theory? nature of man, we find three principal causes of quarrel. First, competition. Second, diffidence. Third, glory. The first makes men invade for gain. The second, for safety. The third, for reputation. There is always war of everyone against everyone. Four anonymous players sit in their cubicles in a game lab. They never set their eyes on each other. The experimenter tells them the rules, which are outrageously simple. The players can contribute up to 10 euros to a common pool, meaning they give the money to the experimenter, who multiplies the total by two and divides the resulting amount, the so-called common good, 
Players can impose a fine on each other, but they do not pocket the fines. They pay a fee of one euro to the experimenter. For the experimenter to withdraw two euros from the punished player's account. Game theory, even though it deals with the most serious matters on earth. Just as probability theory grew from games of chance and is used today to describe the physical world, game theory took over terms from poker and chess. Terms such as strategy, player, move, and payoff to describe social interactions, interactions within households, firms, and nations. For the last hundred thousand years, the evolution of Homo sapiens was mostly shaped by Homo sapiens. Our niche has grown and diversified. It encroaches on the atmosphere and the biosphere. It encroaches, shapes, and destroys. Huge amounts of matter energy and information circulate around the globe in a fast-moving flow propelled by human interactions. These interactions are part of human behaviors which are based on human preferences which happen not to be aligned. Alas, or thank God. And that's what game theory is all about. It deals with sharing and commitment with trust and threat, and risk and reputation, with partnership and rivalry, to avoid the war of everyone against everyone. Ethics, our only hope to beat social dilemmas, tragedies of the commons, and the war of everyone against everyone. It is time to come back to our dramatic situation. Our world is almost destroyed. Can you restore it? Or will it collapse? You stay in your roles. And you can still express that you need more life space by standing up. Or you can express that you have enough by sitting down. But this time, we had another possibility. You can also give, share to your neighbors. You express it by standing up and raising your hand like this. Now, you have three choices. And let's continue our journey into the future. <laughs>